Good morning, y'all. Dandy Dabby here on Surfaces. The next set of videos I'm going to do will be on painting. And the first thing you want to think about is your surface that you're going to paint on. Now, this could be very simple. Paper, canvas, wood, or it could get complicated because you might be just using whatever you have. Everything from plastic to metal, or you might be using those things to be super creative, like a pair of shoes or an old skateboard. Of course, first you want to prep the material. So if you have any kind of rust on it, you need um, a cleaner or a stripper um, to be able to get it down to the bare um, bones. Um, sometimes I just even take oops paint or gesso and paint over it so that it will be able to be ready to go <laughs> in a shortcut manner. Uh, of course, it depends on if it's just for fun or if you're doing something for a client or somebody that hired you or you want it to be extra nice. Those aspects of quality are going to determine a lot of your factors. So let me show you a pretty cool one. This is a piece of wood that my husband burned um, while using electricity. Pretty cool. Of course, you would want a... Um, a parent guardian or just safety materials if you're already older person so that you can um, be safe to prep it now this again two motivation factors you could just be having fun or you could be ex having a specific purpose um, it's always good to allow for both purpose motivation and fun motivation this was a bit of an experiment and when I look at it I get really inspired for other paintings for trees and, and whatnot. But specifically, I wanted to show you the back of this wood. Now, this wood is not flat. You might prefer a flat surface. It isn't absolutely necessary, but you got to think about the pores of the material and if it needs to be sanded or whatnot. Um, and then, for me, for me, for this, I would... Um, use a gesso or a kills or just something to like seal it and get you a solid color surface. They even make clear and black gesso these days. That's what um, one thing that inspired me to just use the Oops Paint, the five dollar cans at Home Depot or Walmart. If they mess up a color, of course you have to look at the type of paint. You would want like an acrylic latex paint. So this is something I'm thinking about painting the back of. And here is a plastic bin lid. Now, for plastic, what I would do is I would go get a spray paint can that would adhere to plastic. And then um, from there, depending on the material, I would want to use, if I'm using drawing materials, um, it might adhere fine. Um, you just have to experiment and think about how you want the material to stick and how you want it to build. Um, if I am not satisfied with the texture of the material after I've prepped a surface, then I might add an additional material on top of it, like another layer of gesso or something. There's part one of our painting series. Love y'all. Peace out.